Yeah, so this is one of the uh, artists I think that Chris and I cross over on. Like, like the Clash and Elvis Costello are kind of where Chris's love ends and my love begins. But this is one of the most important albums in rock history. And what's so cool that Elvis Costello did is he he uh, you know remixed it and brought in Spanish artists, so it's all sung in Spanish. So some of the melodies and stuff are still have like like I one of my favorite songs on it is No Action, and, and Nina Diaz does it on this. And it is brilliant. It is so much fun. I think I think this could really take off. I think people could really get into it. It's it feels modern too. You know, you wouldn't believe that it's forty three years ago, but it is incredibly well done. Chris, is this release going to win you over and make a fan out of you? Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, and it's. I hope that there's that more of this kind of thing happens because you know this is like what's what's great about music is. Right, bringing people together, which we, you know, kind totally. of do right now. Ah, it's great in every way. Let's move on to another new release. This one from Metallica. And what we have here is something that has a nice main connection with this new version. Yeah, so this was uh, remastered by Bob Ludwig. So they're, they're releasing the what folks know as the Black Album, but like a, you know, anywhere from a, I, I gotta, it, this is real, a 5 LP, 14 CD, 6 DVD version that's like over 200 bucks or a three CD version. And, you know, it's such an incredibly important, awesome album. And even being in New England, we can forgive the fact that, you know, Enter Sandman became the walk-on music for Mariana Rivera. You know, it's still one of those albums that, you know, everyone's got to enjoy. Another collection that has got a touch of genius to it, it is called True Genius. It's from Ray Charles, a six CD collection. He's one of the absolute giants of music from the last 75 years. Tell me a little about this release, Chris. Well, here I, can, I have it. So it's it's one of those box sets that, you know, where the discs are, you know, it's in a book format. So the book's really cool, a lot of detail. But what struck me about this was how, I, how little I actually knew about his career in the 70s and 80s and even the late Likewise. 60s. Yeah. You know, it, it don't, we think about it, his earliest stuff and then his the album that came out right after he died, which were huge. And there's all this amazing, amazing music where he's he kept writing. I mean, his interpretations of all these all this stuff is fantastic. Um, and it's it, a lot of this stuff was never issued on CD, so it's almost like. It feels unreleased. It feels like unreleased gold. Good way to put it. I like that term. All right, let's finish up with a switch. We'll move from music to movies. The film is Black Widow. This is from uh, the Marvel franchise. How do you guys like this movie? You don't know everything about me. I've lived a lot of lives before I was an Avenger, before I got this family. I made mistakes choosing between what the world wants you to be. And who you are. I actually saw it in the theater and really enjoyed it. And I'm intrigued by what's going to happen when it's released. Because as folks probably heard, a lot of it, it got a lot of press that Scarlett Johansson, the, the star playing Black Widow, was um, part of her compensation was based on the theater results. And they streamed it online at the same time they put it in the theater. And so, you know, she's like, where's, you know, this didn't do as well as I thought it would. So, so I think it's going to have a big, like, Blu-ray, especially release and uh, tons of deleted scenes and things like that. And, uh, you know, and so for folks who didn't want to go out to the theater, now you can, you know, experience it at home. 